Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it is Thanks for Making Thursday, and it is March. What the hey? I just had started recording, and somebody did a slamming of the door, and I, it's, I think it's the front door, and then it just sends reverberations through the house. <sighs> Things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, yeah. Things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, things were making Thursday, yeah. Things were making Thursday. Um, the jingle, which I play a portion of, is from Jess at J-Hook Magic. And um, she and her husband wrote it, and it's awesome. And thank you so much for doing that. And then um, there is a Facebook group. There is a list down below of um, the rest of the year's uh, projects, some information. If you don't have a channel, you can still participate in Things We're Making Thursday. And if you do have a channel, we'd love to see what you've done. Use the hashtag TMWT. And um, you can, of course, use that hashtag to go see what other things are doing. Um, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not active in the Facebook group just because I'm not active on Facebook in general. Um, I go in every once in a while, check on my Facebook group, which also, if you go to the link tree down below, you can click on the link tree and get to some of my stuff that's unique for me. Um, but the things we're making Thursday is all listed down below. If you have made something and you want to share it, you can pick me or many of the other people who do videos, we would love to showcase them in our videos. So if you choose to participate in Things We're Making Thursday, don't have a channel, please send an email to me and say, hey, this is what I did. Here's a picture and I will put it in my video. I think that's a great idea. I would love to do that. So please, 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 if you want to participate, do that or put it in somebody else's video. Um, it's really fun to see what people make. This month is bags. Um, next month is Tri Tunisian Crochet, which I've done. So it's more like Tri Tunisian Crochet again. Um, and so we have a few different things coming up throughout the year, and it's really exciting. There's a new theme every month. Um, and so let's talk about bags. Last week I did share, and I will link the video, I like it on this side, I will link the video up here of things from Ricky Thursday from last week so you can see the bag that I made last week. This week I do not have a finished object. I found this cotton, it's 100% cotton. I'm guessing it's like a creams and sugar or whatever that's called. I don't know for sure, but it used to be much bigger. I don't know how much is left on here but I have this cone of yarn. And I have a knitting needle. I have a circular, but I'm using it flat, actually. So um, this is what I'm knitting. It This right here is called the Fortress Stitch, I think. Um, and it is not too stretchy this way and definitely not really stretchy this way because you use slip stitches. Um, and this is what the other side looks like. So in, if you know anything about knitting, you know that when you do a slip stitch, you slip it across and then your yarn will either be in front or back. The yarn is always um, on this side when it's slipped. And then this side shows all the purl bumps, whether you're knitting or not, and then it's every other one, which is why um, it's like that. And, um, I like this texture. I think it's really pretty. My daughter doesn't like to feel it, but I'm like, hey, this is the bottom of my bag. You don't need to feel it. Um, but I wanted something that was a little more stretchy, um, or less stretchy, I mean, because it's for the bottom of the bag. I wanted it to feel more solid. Um, So um, this is how wide my bag is going to be. And I'm thinking at least twice this length, maybe more. I haven't decided yet. We are we'll, we are going to see how far it gets. And I'm just having um, taking my time working across it. Would like to get the bag finished 
this month, but I, there's no guarantees. Um, so I am doing this, uh, the linen stitch. I was going to talk about that a little bit. The linen stitch is also a slip stitch kind of thing. And the biggest difference, as far as I know, I've only done the linen stitch once, so I'm not positive, is that whereas this one, the stitch is always carried, the, the yarn is already carried on this side. In the linen stitch, the yarn stays on whichever. So if you're purling, the yarn stays on that side and you just slip and purl the next one, slip, purl, next one. Um, and when you're on a knit side, you knit, slip, knit, slip, but the yarn always stays um, either in front or back. And so the side that it's on changes. But I liked this fortress stitch because it gives me a smoother um, inside of my back because um, I don't intend to line it because right now me and fabric are not super friends I don't know why we're just not so anyway this is what I'm doing hopefully next week I will have started up the sides of the bag that's the goal is to have that I will have picked up all of this picked up all of this this and of course my other end will have been picked up or probably just stayed out. I don't know I might bind it off and pick it up just for a consistency, not my neck, because it's just bad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I haven't decided if I'm going to do this for a while up the sides, or if I'm gonna try a different pattern um, up the sides, or how I'm gonna do, and I wanna do probably about this height up the side, and then switch to something else. I'm not sure how far this yarn goes, we will find out. Um, and then see if I need to switch yarns or maybe I'll get up so far and just decide to switch yarn anyway. I don't know. It's a, it's a work in progress. It's a, we'll figure it out as we go kind of a plan. But, um, then I might switch to crochet and I might actually switch to Tunisian crochet and have this cross the path of the months into next month and like so knit up part way and then switch over to Tunisian crochet for um, a part or all of the bag. I think that would be kind of fun actually so I might do that. Kind of see I guess see how far I get in the bag this month. So I hope that makes sense. Anyway I'm really excited to see what kind of bags people are making this month. I know that there are all kinds of bags you can make and you could um, knit crochet and I'm pretty sure they would welcome if you sewed or other things um, we just like to see what people are making we like to encourage you to make things as well so remember to let your light shine through your creations whatever they be and I will see you guys next time bye